a beer from a true Dutch nomad. It's beer o'clock and from Holland we have the flip-flopped white socked strong hopped white IPA. Try saying that when you've had a few. Coming in at 5.5% and it's from the Flying Dutchman Nomad Brewing Company. So it's all a bit of a mouthful this isn't it? Right, so for what I can work out about this, uh, the Flying Dutchman Nomad Brewing Company is a fella called Ronald de Waal. Um, he's the Flying Dutchman and he's a bit of a nomad brewer and for the past 20 years he's just been floating around here and everywhere brewing beer um, you sort of find out he's gone to Finland he's, uh, he's <sighs> some people say that this fellow is one of the sort of the sort of innovators of the craft scene so yeah this is quite interesting and um, I say when I was over in Holland I picked up this this uh, this beer. What a mouthful, do not it? What a good name, eh, though, isn't it? Flip flopped, white socked, strong hopped, white IPA. It's yeah, it just sounds good, doesn't it? it? Sounds like you know, sort of oh, sort of going away in a Volkswagen camper van, doesn't it? And, and, and sort of you know, going round and. Yeah, visit music festivals and I don't know. Um, apparently, what it is is it's they've married up a Belgian wit beer with an IPA. So, what are we going to get here? You know, so we'll crack it open and we're going to give this a go. Um, Looking forward to this. This just sounds interesting. And smell the hops. So we have a very, very pale lager, a nice three and a half, four, three and a half to four finger head on it. Oof. My word. This has got some hops in there. And you can smell it, you can smell orange, coriander. Juniper berries. It's really, really citrusy. This has definitely got lots and lots of citra hops, Cascade, Centennial, and it also has Equinox hops in there. So there's four types of hops in this. Um, it's brewed with Pilsner malt and and wheat malt, which is obviously the, the Belgium side of it, the wheat malt. And let's come on, let's just dive in. The smell of this is just Oh, it's, it's pungent, it is beautiful. It is, oh, what a good straight smelling beer. Come on, this. Uh, whoa! This is a massive explosion of bitterness in your mouth. It is really, really bitter, but it's packed with flavour, with this bitterness and the hops and the orange peel and the coriander all buzzing around your mouth at once. You know, this is. It's just a twist in your mouth. It's 
bitterness of it, just explosions of hops, malts. Oh, it's just, it's got a nice carbonation to it. What a interesting, nice beer. I couldn't drink it for a session. Um, it's a lovely beer. That two bottles of it, and I think um, that would be enough. Like you know, it's not something you could you could drink gallons of the stuff. You know, bottles of the stuff. Probably one or two bottles. Fantastic, fantastic drink over a meal. It is very, very good at a, like a palate clean. Um, so, like, if you're having a meal, and it will go with anything: pasta, steak, salads, chicken. You know, this this is a good all-round beer that you could eat with, you know, for seafood. Um, fantastic beer to have for your dinner. Um, Oh, they're not good. Very, very good. Oh. See if you can get a bottle. Try it. Leave a comment in the box. Oh. Subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell. Apparently that notifies you every time I bring a video out. And yeah, great beer. And as I always say, beer is the answer. But I cannot remember the question. Thank you for watching. Good night.